Hello everyone, this is Nishant here, and today we'll be taking a look at the new 2013 Lotus. Uh, the new E21 was launched yesterday at the Renault, uh, Lotus Renault headquarters in Enstone at around 1.45 IST, that is Indian Standard Time, so it's obvious that many of you may not have been able to catch the launch, so let's take a look at the new features and new specifications of the car. Visually, if you see, it looks pretty similar to the 2012 version and there aren't many changes visually, but uh, there have been a lot of refinements and uh, there have been a lot of redesigning in the details. So, let's start with uh, what new features have been added. One is the passive DRS system, which the team had been testing in 2012 season during the practice sessions, uh, but they weren't confident with uh, how uh, how the functioning uh, was occurring with the DRS systems but now they have feel pretty confident with it and they have tested it a lot so they have put it on their car uh, impo important point to note is that it's a passive DRS system it's not an active DRS system and it will be operated at a specific speed that is when the car will reach a specific speed which will be set by the team the DRS double DRS system will uh, get activated and it will provide extra boost so it will be a, uh, very very interesting to see how they compare with the Red Bulls and other teams and whether it gives them some advantage or not another thing which you can see is that they haven't changed the step nose design and they have pretty much they have kept uh, that design same as before and uh, that's because they didn't want to put extra pounds on the car and uh, as you know any extra weight on the car in Formula 1 can affect its performance very negatively or positively so they haven't uh, they didn't think it would have it will benefit the car in any way instead they thought it may harm the car so they haven't put the vanity panel which FIA had, FIA had allowed to the teams to cover them so that they don't look so ugly but uh, James Harrison said that if they can find some downforce improvements due to the vanity panel, they will put it as soon as possible. Other than that, there isn't any visual change on the 2013 Lotus. It looks pretty similar to last year, and so there isn't much to talk about either, because we cannot judge the performance now as uh, the, truck, the car hasn't taken the track, and until we have the, some data from the uh, JRS testing which begins from February 5th we can't really talk about uh, what how this car is going to perform but last year we saw that they were very consistent and they were very good at their tires with the tires so so it's likely to be a uh, evolution of 2012 car and it's likely to maintain those trends plus it may have gained some speed as well due to the aerodynamic modifications so that's all about the 2013 E21 Lotus. Now I know there is there wasn't much to talk about, but uh, I can assure you that next year when the teams will launch their cars, we will have a heaps of things to talk about because next year we have a lot of changes with the new engines, uh, the turbo V6 engines, and some significant changes in the rules and regulations. So that's all for this vlog and uh, thank you for joining me hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned to sportskira.com for latest sports news and updates